Thank you, Member. Esquimalt Railroads. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. And as the previous speaker mentioned, it is Heritage Week in BC. And in keeping with the theme of heritage afloat, I'm happy to share the story of a beacon to the past in my constituency. Since 1860, the Fisgard Lighthouse has stood at the entrance to Esquimalt Harbour, lighting the way safely for passing ships. Fisgard was the first lighthouse on Canada's west coast and was built, in fact, in British Columbia on Vancouver Island before it was part of Canada. It has guided mariners for generations and is still operating. The 47-foot-high structure is topped by a light that is visible for 10 nautical miles. Today, the White Tower and Red Brick Keeper's House are a National Historical Site. Visitors from all over the world come to take in the beauty of the location and exhibits that tell the story of shipwrecks, storms, and the life of lightkeepers who lived there until 1929. The view across the Strait of Juan de Fuca is the snow-capped Olympic Mountains and is very splendid. The lighthouse is part of Fort Rod de Hill National Historical Park, uh, which preserves three historical coastal gun batteries that were built in the late 19th century as part of the coastal defense system. The fortress remained in service for more than 50 years and was decommissioned in 1956. Today, the fort is one of the best preserved and most complete of its kind in the world, and all structures are original. Visitors can explore the barracks, look down the barrels of original guns, and descend into the underground magazines. A visit to Fort Rod Hill and Fisgard Lighthouse is a great adventure, and I encourage everyone here to go and take a visit. Just take Highway 1A to Colwood and turn off Ocean Boulevard. Thank you.